Hello everyone, welcome to another one of my videos where I talk about the world of data. In this video I'm going to cover off a, a topic that I got I get asked quite a lot actually and recently someone put it on a comment section which was do you need a degree to uh, get into data analytics? Now historically I would have said yes you do need a degree to get into data analytics because I, I believe that with a degree it wasn't just about the topic that you were uh, studying or the subject that you were studying it was more around the ability to do your own research to do problem solving to manage your time there's a lot of skills that you picked up while you did your degree that I that I felt that you didn't if you didn't do a degree but actually more recently I've realized that there are other avenues of learning okay so for example there are YouTube videos there are short courses that you can do Coursera Udemy uh, boot camps you can go on okay and even you know there are the sort of short courses that uh, uh, you know institutions like universities also run so I don't believe actually you do need a degree to get into data analytics. I mean, to get into data analytics, I, I've talked about it in other videos, but you essentially need to learn a tool. You need to, especially SQL, you need to use a reporting tool. You need to learn problem solving. Um, you need to have some domain knowledge, uh, good communication skills, uh, data storytelling, all those kind of things, okay? Um, which you don't necessarily need a degree to do. But the problem you find is that when you're applying for a job, uh, employers use the degree as a baseline uh, for candidates so they assume that if you have a degree that you have a certain amount of knowledge and um, you know and then you get excluded if you don't have a degree. So to counter that, again, I, I give this advice in other videos, is try and build a portfolio, okay? Try and, um, uh, you know, um, do some projects uh, where you work with real life data um, and you can build a, a portfolio. The other thing is if you're not paying to do a degree or you're not, you know, paying mo spending money in terms of a degree, then maybe you might want to think about doing internships, okay? So ideally you'd want paid internships, but it's not always possible. Um, and I appreciate some companies can't afford it. Um, so if you can get some internships just think about it this way that you're obviously not paying to degree so just using that time investing that time in terms of doing an internship and ideally that internship will involve uh, a lot of the data analytics skills and um, experience that you need and it's really good then you can then put it on your CV and if you can get a few of those if you think about it, a typical degree is about three years if you do sort of a, a few data in, um, analytics internships um, two three months in duration you can get three or four done in a year and then you can put that on your CV and then when you apply for a job you've got that experience and um, which will be more advantageous than someone who has a degree and actually as someone who employs data analysts um, you know it makes a huge difference if you have experience you know just having qualifications on its own is not enough so can you get into data analytics without a degree absolutely I think you can but I think to in order to stand out against someone who does have a degree you've got to have a stronger portfolio of projects and work experience well thank you very much for watching the video I hope you found it useful please do subscribe to the channel and of course please do share and like the video thank you